Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Everyone Playing a Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of Another of Age. Last episode we did something. Um, we uh, <laughs> we basically finished off like the Sylvando mini story right now. And today we're going to go and see what else is going to happen. Jade journeys forth. So it's going to be Jade's little side story. Optagonia, finally. You there? You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveler to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without that. Blimey. There aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since Yggdrasil fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it. I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. I just have to keep looking. Alright. I suggest avoiding the enemies over here, by the way. I seem to remember fighting these enemies in my original run and then just getting freaking destroyed by them, so no. <laughs> Jade is alone, so. Monsters inside the city. Then the rumors were true. <gasps> Insolent fool! How dare you defy us! Someone needs to clip your wings! Teach you your place in the pecking order! Time to put an end to your hyper annoying antics! Once and for all! <laughs> Not so fast! I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> Wait, you're under the whole masked martial arts thing too, right? Yeah, you made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Well, picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to town? I've been visiting places where people are in trouble and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Uh... Well, we've had it pretty tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over. Started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking to take the guy down. But we've heard nothing since. In the end, it got so I couldn't bear to just stand by and watch things go to hell either. I had to try to do something. But, well, you saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... <sighs> he should be up in the old arena on the third level. Guess you know what you're doing, but... Um, just be careful, okay? All right. Hold on, who the devil are you? You don't look half to half look familiar. Ah, that's it. You you look just like one of the luminaries little backing dancers. Of course, I know you're not actually her. You sh you wouldn't be sashaying around here after the lo what the Lord of Shadows did to those light loving goody goodies. <laughs> Are we all set? Alright, up we go then, you disgusting butt. <laughs> and anyone else slacking off? 
uh, go straight upstairs as well. So put your backs into it. How do I go to the third floor? Let me also go inside. Of course, the rest of the statue is still there. I was thinking they would destroy it, but... Let's see. No, <laughs> hiccups. Yes. I don't think I'm gonna be talking with the people too much. Booger, I presume, enslaver of innocence and all-round bully. I am he, mighty Booger, spectral sentinel, skull smasher, swoon inducer extraordinaire. And who might you be? Let me guess. Another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign. Oh, come on then. Let's have a look at you. As glossy as a great saber cat's coat, the flawlessly toned physique of a gigantic. Oh, yes, you're right up Booger's alley. We mustn't waste another moment. Please, say you'll be mine. Let me shower you with gushing lashings of affection every minute of every day, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Ugh, I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> Just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. <gasps> but you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. Especially not when you see what I've made you. Beloved, a token of my undying. Appreciation. I call it the hair raising suit. Ooh, and it will make your darling Booga Wooga very happy indeed to see you wear it. <laughs> uh, not on your life! <laughs> darling, please. We've only just. <laughs> Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. Come on now. Be a good girl and put it on. If not for your sake, then for theirs. <laughs> <laughs> when I don't get my way. So, what do you say, honey man? A quick change of clothes is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering, no? Just 
That's enough! I put on your stupid suit. Now be as good as your word and let these people go so I can come over there and pummel you. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind. Sorry, but I am very pleased to hear you want to spend some quality time with me. <laughs> Let's get rid of these hangers on first, shall we? <laughs> Take everyone except me and the girl, will you, my love? Anything for you, my boogie woogie woobers! <laughs> Could you? Save it for when we're finally alone with you, my little plum dumpling. We just have to pack these people off into an interdimensional vortex, and you will have me all to yourself. <gasps> no! <laughs> You? Where do you think you're going? Where am I? anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? Please! Lo, thou hast defied mighty Booga, and must needs pay thy penance. Thou knowest the sentence. Ten thousand battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. You animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone 10,000. Uh, stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Worse? What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just. But the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shalt come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse I'll get it. Forget about me, okay? You really want to help? Go help those who need it most. Uh, some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. Fine, if you insist. Pray welcome to the Kingdom of Misery, a land whose only law is that every human must suffer. In these cells do those wicked enough to defy the mighty Booga repay their debt of foolishness in full. In time you too shall take the field in pursuit of forgiveness, but until then, you get thee to the furthest reaches of this forsaken place and join the rest of your wretched kind. Everyone says Booga's a fairy devil himself when he comes to the ladies with partner, uh, partners all over Urvia. But it's not true, he's actually a real old-fashioned gentleman and a true romantic. I mean, he's been courting Boudicca for ages, and they haven't even held, held hands yet. Not even during the last dance of the Monster's Ball, the poor girl must be in hell. There's a book called The Lovey Lovey Diaries. My dearest darling, super smashing boo, I've been thinking about you 
And now my heart's beating so fast, I think I'm going to explode like a love volcano. When are you going to wrap me up in those big strong arms of yours? Tell me it'll be soon, I've already waited far, far, far too long. Yours forever and ever, Boudica. My darling, my precious, my Boudica, how <laughs> I've missed your all-conquering curves. One day soon, I'll sweep you off your feet just as I've always promised. But my sweet, you'll have to wait a little longer, we must do things correctly. First we'll use these pages to get to know each other, and then I'll ask the Lord of Shadow to officially approve our union. Then, on the 10th anniversary of our first date, we'll sit together under a starry sky and- Oh, my pen quivers as I write this. Hold, uh, hold hands for the very first time. Can you imagine, my dearest? Can you? Hold on to that thought. Treasured until the day comes at last. Yours in anticipation, Booga. The book contains hundreds more of Booga, but it gets sickeningly saturated uh, love letters. Jade pops it back on the shelf with a shudder. Everything hurts, somebody, please. I can't take this anymore. Rock bomb shard. Up, 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 up. Folks are being forced to fight for the monsters' entertainment. It's just awful. Look at what they're do uh, what they're doing to them. I'm not so great myself, I'm honest, but someone needs to pray uh, pray for these uh, poor people. Oh huh? yeah, I'm a priest. No, don't look like we've come in all shapes and sizes, you know. You look like you could use a little divine information yourself. Let's go and save my game again. Ma, ma, ma. What a life thrown into this hellhole. Only being dragged out to get beaten to a bloody pub by monsters. And to think I came to Octagon to make a name for myself as a fight as a fighter. Oh, not even my worst nightmare did I, th uh, did I make think things would turn out like this. To Puka and Boudica, we humans are just trash. That's exactly how they treat us. They don't even give us real food. They don't care at all if you live or die. Oh, it's Vince. And the other fighters. You were all in the tournament. Is everyone okay? Just about. You wound up down here too, huh? Can't nobody catch a break lately. So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down, and he sent us here. Limbu, they call it. No one's allowed to leave until they've paid for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster. And no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... that's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrendous fiend by the name of Boudica. She brought us all here and no one's made it out since. Unless someone does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever. Doomed to an eternity of terror. Never knowing who might be called up next. That's no kind of life. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudicca. And we can all go home. Can't give up hope? <laughs> You're a bit late for that, darling. We ain't had none of that in here for a long old while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Nah. Best thing we can do is keep our heads down and wait for them to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your heroics, alright? You leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You can't think like that. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... Look, hun, we've all heard the rumors, okay? About the Dark Spawn and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world? And how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Dark Spawn's bosom buddies? You really expect us to listen to you? I. I. Uh... <sighs> All right! It's time to lock horns with some more monsters! <laughs> you! Get moving! It's your turn to pay off some of your debt 
to Booga. <gasps> no, 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 no. Please, please, I, I don't want to. I, I can't. Never mind <gasps> him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do so love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their belly. Lady Boudica? I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there. Making eyes at my booga wooga. <laughs> well, I did! Luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Girly Burly! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to. Okay, let me go see if there's anything else that I can get around here when it comes to items. Superior... I'm sorry, special medicine. Yeah, what? You're even more ruckus than you look. Don't stand a chance out there, you know. I'm not going to be able to stop you going ahead with the, with uh, with this, though, am I? In which case, you'd better take these. I managed, uh, managed to smuggle them with him when they dragged me down here. Go on, your need is definitely greater than mine. Just make sure to take them out of your bag ahead of time, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the moment, my friends, where I noticed how items work. And how important it is to, you know, put these items in your freaking inventory. So I will do just that. Alright, put all these items in my inventory. There we go. Such a, like, yeah, I, I don't like that mechanic too much. Having separate item bags for everybody, hmm, I'm not a fan for that. Well worn, art thou suitably prepared, wilt thou take the field and cross swords? The swords with monster kind's finest in the turning to end all tourneys? Art thou ready to undergo the girly burly? Yes. <laughs> it's been ages since the last girly burly! Fire upon thee, humans! May Nimbu be thy grave! Look, she weren't bad in the tournament, but this is a different kettle of fish. She don't stand a chance out there. First wave of the girly burly. Let's go for a vacuum smash. Beautiful hoodlums. Of course. Alright, mwahaha, you're a spirit, I would grant you that, but we have barely even begun! Fire on the human! Fire on the human! wizard! Oh, 
There we go. Wee hee hee! We love hurting humans and we can't wait to hear them sc hear you scream! Alright. <laughs> Having this vacu vacuum, sma sma vacuum smash is freaking amazing. Oh, poison. Only sometimes that. Pepped up. That makes no sense, but sure. Wow, one shot. Not bad. She levels up. Seven points. Can you do anything with seven points? Um, technically, yes. Let's go and get another thrust. Right. Is that it? But I don't know the fuss was about. I don't believe it. She made it through the girly burly. How did she do that? Anybody else would have given up by now. Right, she just fought off a massive order of monsters. At least give her a chance to catch her breath. Oh, boo hoo hoo hoo! Did you really think I was going to make this a fair fight? Honestly, one little present from my booga, and she thinks she's queen of everything. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, dear. My boo only has eyes for one woman, and she outshines you in every arena. Looks? <laughs> Style? Not even close. Muscle? <laughs> Just look at you. What? You think that's it? I'm just getting started. Oh, you think you're so tough, don't you? Well, you've asked for it now, Missy. Limbu's about to introduce a new punishment. Death! <sighs> Jade, stop! Just stay down, you hear? Keep fighting and you'll die. That ain't no use to anybody. Quit now while you still can. If I stop now, then you really will all give up hope. Not while I'm still... breathing. Too many people have given up already. And who can blame them? The world's fallen apart around them, but I'm not about to do the same. My friends are still out there. And they'll never give up. I know it. <sighs> they give me the strength to keep on going. A light in the darkness. I have to keep that light alive. I'll keep getting up, no matter how many times you knock me down. I'll never let that light die. <sighs> <laughs> I 
I know your game. But it's going to take a lot more than a little scratch to make my boo stop loving me! You're right, Jade. With all the stuff that's been going down, we lost sight of the most important thing. Hope. That light you talked about? Mine is those kids back at the orphanage. I won't stay down either. Not until I finally make it back to them. <coughs> we got your back and all, Jade. What kind of big, tough warriors would we be if we didn't, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry about what I said before, okay? And I'm on board with all the Light of Hope stuff, too. There's gotta be something still worth fighting for in this world, right? Mm. All right, everyone. Let's finish Boudicca off. Then get out of here and take care of her boyfriend. It's time to bring Hope back to Octagon. <laughs> Limbu's too good for the likes of you, filthy humans! You're all going straight to hell! <laughs> Absolutely love this character, by the way. <laughs> Boudicca. Hmm. Right, let's go for a vacuum smash against... Oh, they're all different enemies. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's go and do a hip drop on the left hand man. I want to take care of these ads first. Because they buff people. Go get him, Tiger. Ooh. The Underdigger attacks. Did someone say boss? Ow. That's a sizable amount of damage. And then Kasap, okay. Okay, I think it might be an idea for me to use uh, some special medicine. Since Boudicca is targeting me. Wow, he's actually mesmerized by her. That's interesting. Take this. Can somebody please take care of this freaking right hand man? There we go. Ow. Thanks. No, no, no. Can't be dying here now, my dear. Hee <laughs> hee. What happened? What, what, what? <laughs> okay. So I just can't die right now. Or maybe not one time. I don't know. This is a boulder. <laughs> She's just focusing on me. Did someone say What's going is another one of these freaking special medicines? Mm. 
This freaking sound. The only thing I'm doing right now is just healing. Just constantly healing myself. Capped up again. Now I don't have any more medicine, so... <laughs> nice. This is not looking good. We need to get out of here, fast! <gasps> Look, Octagonia! It's our only chance. Quickly, everyone! Start celebrating just yet. We've got one last battle to fight. Octagonia won't be safe until we've dealt with Booga. Let's do this! <laughs> Hi right, people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the show. I was playing a dragon instead of an egg, I was ever noticed with age. Oh, the next episode we're gonna go and deal with whatever's gonna happen next. <laughs> Once again, goodbye.